Hello. How are you guys? Happy Wednesday. <clears throat> Excuse my voice is going already. That's not a good sign. I haven't even started talking. I'm Jennifer Kirk. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator. This light's really bright. Um, from Guelph, Ontario. And I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're staying dry. We're getting a bit of a storm here. So hopefully we are okay for internet connection. I'm just finding my um, video on here. So it is <clears throat> July 26th, 2023. Can you believe it? 20, July 26th, where's the summer going? Like it just started and now it's half over. What is going on? Okay, I'm just pulling up. We are gonna make a super cute card. I'm trying to find my page here. I've been away for a couple of weeks, so um, I'm happy to be back stamping with you. I hope you guys enjoy this week. So we have a few announcements. Okay, I have my iPad up. We have a few. I have a few announcements. Um, so August first, which is only a couple of days away. Um, Stamping Up is having a kit sale. So we don't know all the details yet. We just know that it's coming. Um, so all of our kits are going to be on sale up to 30% off. Not sure exactly. Um, even the brand new one. Hey, Heather. Um, even the brand new kit that will be released on the 1st will also be on sale. So make sure you check out my uh, online store on the 1st to see what um, amazing deals you can get on the kits. And for those of you that are demonstrators, the we got to see the catalog today. I hope you guys have been able to find it for, for you that are demonstrators. It's gorgeous. Um, and our pre-order starts so we can buy next week. Yay! All right, so we are going to play with the Timeless Arrangements Bundle. Um, it is there's a lot of sentiments on here and the dies are really really cool so i can't wait to show you um so i'm actually offering a class for the timeless arrangements uh this card that we're doing is not part of the class but um i just wanted to show you how how gorgeous it, the the bundle is so class registration closes on the 31st which is monday so make sure that um you register for the class. It's $25. You get uh, some DSP, you get some ribbon, you get some embellishments, and you get the kits to make four cards using the Timeless Arrangements Bundle. Okay, so let me turn you around. You're going to want to close your eyes so you don't get sick. Um, and we're going to get stamping. I'm so excited. I haven't stamped in so long with you guys. My holidays were awesome. I was able to, uh, to relax. Hey, Sharon, uh, relax with the family. We played lots of games, went swimming, went fishing. Um, no internet, no electricity. It was heaven. Work couldn't find me. I got to actually unplug for a couple weeks. It was wonderful. So I did miss you guys. So I'm glad to be back stamping. And let's turn you around. Close your eyes so you don't get sick. I'm going to wiggle the phone right now. You're going to see my roof in a second. Okay. Don't look. I'll tell you when you can look. Okay. I'm just going to tighten you up here. One of these days, I will get a program. A little bit tighter. Just one more turn. We're almost there. I hope you guys are having a great week. I hope you're staying dry. It's been a wee bit wet. Okay, let me just move this over so I'm in the center. Okay, so you ready to see the card we're making? It's called a diamond easel card. So, can you guys see that? Let me move my lights back. I had to move them. I had to move them. Here we go. Um, so this is featuring the DSP that I'm using, and I meant to get this out, but I didn't, is from the, uh, I just dumped everything, Masterfully Made. So I have a few of the pieces here, not all of them. It is really cool. Really, really.
really cool paper. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it. Love it. We're using, or I used that one. And then on the back, look how bright it is. Isn't it neat? It's just, it's like the faux rip. Like this paper is already ripped for you. Um, you saw that side already. So there's the other side. See all the rips? Cool. I love it. It's so cheerful. It's so happy. Okay, so we're using this DSP. Um, in my sample card, <clears throat> let me get space. I used the pinks. This time we are going to use the Lost Lagoon and the Pretty Peacock. Okay, so we're going to use these two DSPs. We're just going to change up the colors, same card. Um, so it's an easel card. So you can stick it up. And there you go. Isn't that neat? Um, there's a spot to write on the inside. The only bad thing about this is it doesn't fit in a regular size envelope. You do need to make a, an envelope that's a little bit bigger. Okay, so it's really, really simple. So, well, it's really simple when your brain is functioning. So let's see how I do. My brain is still on holiday. So you will need a ruler. You will need a pencil. Um, but, but first, we're going to do some scoring. All right, so I'm going to bring out my score. Um, so this piece here is, oh no, and I lost my cheat sheet. It got buried and everything fell over. And I can guarantee you that Milo is going to start grabbing all the paper that's on the floor and eating it when I'm on my video. <laughs> because that's what he's going to do. Okay. Let me put this where I can see it. So, how have you guys been? I don't see any comments. Are you guys writing comments? Why don't I see a comment? Okay, I'm not getting comments on my iPad, so I'm not ignoring you. I will respond to the comments after. It's a weird view, actually. Oh. Okay, so this piece is um, 10 by 5. Okay, actually, I hope it's 10 by 5. Did I cut it? Did I cut it? Let's see. I cut it so it's 10 by 5 and we are going to score this at five and at two and a half okay so score at five and we're going to score this at two and a half okay so score line five score line two and a half we'll put this away for now and then what we're going to do is we're going to take our pencil and we're going to take our ruler and on, let me just fold these so you guys can see where they are a bit. Okay. So on the side with the score line, okay, on the end, we are going to measure in two and a half and we are going to just put a little pencil mark there. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing on this end. So we're going to measure in at two and a half. Okay, so two and a half. And then on the side that we don't have the score line at two and a half, so we've got a big square here, we are going to come in and we are going to measure this at two and a half. So we're going to put a score line here, or not a score line, we're going to put a mark there. And we're going to put mark here okay so we have two and a half two and a half two and a half and then on this end because we have a score line already at two and a half we don't need to score it again but we do a two and a half there okay so now we're done with our pencil mark with our pencil mark we're done with our pencil and we're going to bring in our trimmer and now we're going to just trim the corners so we're going to make um Kind of a point on this end, a point on this end. Okay, so let's do the side with the pencil. So all I'm gonna do is line up the pencil, line up the pencil, and give it a trim, okay? And I'm gonna do the same on this side. So I'm gonna line up the pencil mark, line up the pencil mark, give it a trim. And then on this side where I have the score line, I'm going to go pencil line to score line. OK, 
okay? So I don't have to, I didn't, you can put a pencil mark at the two and a half on the score line if you wanted to, or you can just line it up with the score line. Okay, and then flip it around. And it's been so long since I've done a video, I'm nervous. Okay, and there we go. Okay, so we have a card. Let's burnish this. Um, that looks like this. You guys see that? Hopefully I'm on the camera. Oh, you guys can see my iPad. Okay. Um, so this will be the bottom, right? And this is going to sit up at the top. So if you, you don't need to get rid of this pencil mark because we're actually going to hide it. So I have a few cutouts here. So I have a piece of cardstock. This one is three and a half by three and a half. Okay, and this one is going to just go straight on here, just like that. Okay, so we're going to glue that on in a second. Um, we have two pieces of DSP. So these DSPs are three by three. And then we have two layers. So this could be a, a cardstock. So I could have done it in um, um, Pretty Peacock, but I decided to do it in white because I wanted a little bit of a contrast here, okay? So these two pieces are, what size are they? Three and a quarter by three and a quarter. All right, so let's get putting pieces together. I need to get rid of some of this stuff so I can make room. Hopefully I have some glue left. Okay, so for this one, <clears throat> we only want to put glue on the bottom flap here, okay? So we could put it on our square, or it's much easier just to put it here, and then you don't get glue everywhere. And we're just going to line that straight up. Okay, so it is lined up corner to corner, flap to flap. Okay, and you see that's going to be our flap there. Easy. Now we have to decide, do we want this one on the top and this one on the inside, or do we want to do it the other way? I'm going to do it this way. I like this one. Okay, so I'm going to take one of the whites and I'm going to take my DSP and I'm going to glue them together. And then... Isn't it a shame using this gorgeous paper? Uh, are you guys enjoying your summer? I'm hoping that you're all safe and that these crazy storms haven't caused any problems for people. We had a, at our cabin, we had a huge tree down. Um, luckily, it didn't land on the cabin, but it did take up a lot of the camp. <laughs> So we're going to stick that one there, <clears throat> and then we're going to take this one. This is a lot of gluing, very little stamping. We're making the DSP do all the work. Okay, we're going to just line that up straight. <clears throat> and then this goes on the inside. So before we do it, I also have, so this was a square of two by two and this is two and a quarter by two and a quarter square. And then I just cut them on the diagonal and we're just going to glue those together. And those pieces are going to go right in here. Oh my goodness. I wish I had my bottle of water because my voice is going. <clears throat> so the holidays were wonderful. The weather was good. I know you guys got a lot of rain here in Guelph area. We didn't. We got a little bit. Um, not like you. Okay. But it was pretty cold at night, which was good for sleeping, but not when there was a fire ban. Okay. So we're just, all we're going to do is place it just like that. Okay. Simple. I'm going to do the big square first because that's the easiest one to kind of center. So I'm just putting glue on it. 
just realized I'm at the bottom of my screen. It's not good. Okay, and I'm just putting an equal border all the way around. Okay, I'm not really pushing down hard in case I want to move it, which is why I'm using the Coupe Glue so I can move. Right, because I don't really want that big of a spot between the two. Do you see that? I just moved it. It's not straight now, though. Way to go, Jen. Don't put it straight. Okay, let me move it straight. Uh, is it going to move? Good enough. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that neat? Love it. Love it, love it. I I forget um, who inspired me on this card, so I'll have to find that and then um, post it to give credit for who designed this. Okay, so this DSP, so this piece here is four and three quarters by two and a quarter, and I have two of them. One is to write on on the inside, and one is for my layer of my DSP, which is four and a half by two. Okay, so we're just going to glue this on here. Isn't that pretty? I love this paper. I'm going to glue this here. We're almost done. We haven't even stamped yet. Okay, and then I'm just going to glue this one right here. Okay. What is your favorite fruit in the summer? We're coming into peach season. I love peaches. Okay, I'm not going to glue this in now until I know who I'm going to send this to, okay? But this is where it goes, and this is where you can write your sentiment or your, your message to somebody. So now I'm going to pull out some die cuts, and we're going to do some stamping. Let's do stamping first, actually. Okay, so this stamp set is awesome. You can do all different kinds of, you can put sayings together, like a very big thank you, or um, just can't thank you enough. So you could do all, you know, there's lots of different sayings that you could do with this. It's, it's wonderful, very happy, thankful, sentiments um which i've been using a ton a ton okay let me put my glue away before i get it all over everywhere all right now what color should i i think i'm gonna stamp in pretty peacock so i'm gonna stamp i'm gonna get out my <clears throat> my goodness sorry about my throat guys okay so Where'd my card go? Um, so I'm going to do, on the outside, I'm going to do a very big thank you. So let's stamp this in Pretty Peacock. You guys have to tell me which one you like better. The, um, the greens or the, the um, berry burst. So I'm just going to stamp a very big... Thank you. Just like that. Hopefully it's straight. Hopefully you can see my head hovering over it. And then on the inside, is this going to fit? Yep. Your kindness means everything to me. This is a perfect thank you card. And the font is so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it. Okay. Put your fingers in the ink pad. Not. Don't do as I do. Do as I say. Now these dies are really, we're not using them, all of them tonight, so we're not going to be layering. But you can see they have the, this little rectangle. Okay. And when you cut them out, so if I were to cut out this one and cut out this one and cut out this one and cut out this one, and if I were to layer the cutouts, all the squares on top of each other, I'm going to get a perfect arrangement of the leaves and the foliage. Okay, so Stamping Up has designed these that we don't even have to worry about how to layer them. 
they've layered them for us. Isn't that neat? Um, but we're not, I'm not going to show you that in this card because we're only using this die cut here. But I just thought as a little tip, when you get your own dies, because you're going to want this one for sure. Um, see, see how that's cut out? So these are the same, so they're going to be on top of each other. But if they were the different leaves, then they would be layered. And then all you do is stick it like that and you've got it. Okay, but what we're going to do is I'm going to stick this one here and this one don't really want it even like that so I'm gonna cut this up and just stick a couple out the side okay but that's not the that's not the way they were designed to do but that's what I'm gonna do so I'm just gonna stick some adhesive here and then I'm gonna line this one up just in the middle okay you can pop that out if you want and then this one I'm actually gonna just cut up if I can find my snips. And because I don't want it all hanging out the edge. And I'll just stick that on there. And that's probably enough. Um, maybe one out on this side. You can do one on that side, eh? Okay, I don't have any other adhesive here, so all I'm gonna do is add a little bit of adhesive there and stick this on I'm sorry guys for those of you that just joined I'm not ignoring you I can't see your comments so I will go back in after and um, and look at your comments okay so I'm not I'm not being rude so we're just gonna stick this right like that so we could pop this up if we want with dimensionals so let's do that so this set I I liked it when I bought it um, I bought it for the sentiments because I do a lot of thank you cards but I've actually since I've been playing with it I love this set it's funny how that happens eh? you just you look at something and you're like yeah I could do that Okay, so, and then you end up falling in love with it. So I'm just gonna stick this right here. It doesn't matter, I'm trying to center it, but um, my eyes are growing a little bit cross-eyed. <laughs> it's been one of those days already. I'm just back from holidays and it's one of those days. Okay, so on my sample, on the inside, I stamped a flower and then just added it on here. This one I have a longer sentiment, so my f so I have a flower here, and I may use it, but I may not. I haven't stamped it yet, so we'll decide. Let me. So this inside one you do want to pop up because it is going to hold this your flap up. Okay, I'm using all my bits. Don't lose your bits, Jen. And so I just want to place this so that it fits kind of nicely right in here. Okay, just like that. So the question, do we want a flower? I don't think we have space for a flower. No, we don't want a flower. Do we want a die cut? Mm. You know what, we're going to do a die cut tucked underneath. So we're gonna do one die cut tucked underneath or two. Let's see. We're gonna do one. We're just gonna do one tucked right there. So all I'm gonna do is add a little bit of liquid glue on here. And we're gonna stick her down. And then my friends, we are done this card isn't it a neat fold I think it's just, it's unique it's um, the only bad thing is it doesn't fit into an envelope but 
that gives you an excuse to use more of this gorgeous DSP and make your own envelope. There we go. All right. So, which color do you like best? The um, Berry Burst or the Lost Lagoon? I don't know. I like them both. I think they're pretty cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, and I can't wait to stamp with you again next week. Don't forget to register for my class that is featuring um, this, this bundle. Okay, so registration closes on Monday. And, uh, and the class is $25. It's a great deal. You get step-by-step -step video tutorials. You can make them whenever you want. So... Um, you're not tied to a time and yeah and I hope you register all right have an awesome night and uh, happy Wednesday and we will see you soon bye for now